good afternoon from the Universal Orlando parking garage. We're going in today to do the scarecrow stalk because I didn't complete it. I actually uh, left the thing at home, so we're going to start all over again, complete it 100% today. It's a good day. We're going to have fun. All right, so because we don't do this very often, we totally forgot my pass on the car. So, mommy and buddy stopped off at Starbucks. I got an Arnold, Arnold, Arnold I can't say it, Arnold Palmer. There you go. Um, just a little half caffeine for me today. But are you having fun? A little mommy buddy time? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, there's a little smile in there. So we're just gonna wait for daddy. I think every time that we come here, they've added more and more steel to the outside of this building. It's gonna be nice. Got a nice little overhang, nice little turn here. I'm excited to see when it's done. Yeah, look at this. There's like a huge, this is probably gonna be the sign here. That's what I'm thinking. So what did you just notice? Oh, I saw somebody. So the last time we were here, we wanted to eat at Cowfish and it was closed and they were closed Monday through Wednesday. And I saw somebody walk up to the door. They're open now because it's Thursday. Yeah. So maybe we could go to Cowfish. Maybe. Who knows? All right, we're headed in. Looks, uh, looks okay in there. There seems to be like a large crowd around Minions. But other than that, it looks like it's not too bad. Also, 2020 is the first time that they are allowing guests to come in wearing costumes. And there are costume rules. Pretty, uh, kind of a lot of rules. All right, first stop on the Scarecrow stock, the Universal Studios store. And we're gonna get our map and get it stamped and get started. Look at this spooky Halloween bunting. So here it is, the Scarecrow stock. Look at this guy. He's so scary looking. He has a pumpkin for a head. Or for a hat? Is this one of those 12 foot pumpkin or 12 foot skeletons from? No, no, they made this one. Uh, are they themed to the store? Yeah, each 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 one has a different theme. So what's this one's theme? I think it's just the scarecrow stalk. Oh, okay. Like, cause this is the first one that you would see when you're coming into the store. I like the crows. I don't know where the the things are. They should be right here. Oh, I gotta so find them. Oh, okay, Jackson. Did you see this giant skeleton right here? He's got a pumpkin for a helmet. What do you think? Is it blowing your hair away? <laughs> All right, so I got our map and we've got our first stamp from the Universal Studios store. They said the next one is right across the way at Betty Boop and Hello Kitty. Uh, Which one is, is that the silver screen? I think screen it's silver screen, silver screen collectibles. All right. So now why are these two? Because that's with the redemption spots. Oh. You can redeem it in two different spots. Oh, I thought, okay. I thought we were looking for witches. No, no. You can either go to San Francisco Candy Company or Studio Suites, which is actually right on the other side of these minions over here. Oh, okay. All right, over to Betty Boop. Next stop, Betty Boop. Where is the Shrek gift shop? Uh, that's a good question. Huh. I don't know. This one better be glamorous like Betty Boop. Right here by all of the jewelry. We've got this scarecrow wearing a fancy dress. And she looks like a snake. Hey, hi. She's even got a long tail like a snake and everything. Hey, wow. What has she got? <laughs> she's got a little sparkly bug on her too, a little sparkly spider. All right, stamp number two. Uh, the next one's at the five and dime, which is, we're gonna start going this way around the park, but there's one at Super Silly Stuff, which is like right behind us. I think they expect you to make like a circle. Okay. Do you want to go that way? Yeah, we'll go that way. So it's cool to see so many other people doing the scarecrow stock too. Like as we've been getting our stamps, we've seen like several people also also trying to complete their scarecrow stock. It's so hard to say, um, but I think that's really awesome. And I hope that they continue to do stuff like this uh, next year. Yeah, and hopefully they do do the Christmas tree thing again like they did last year at Christmas. Oh yeah, where you had to find the different Christmas trees in the different gift shops. Yeah. But the thing that I like most about this is that, so you know, obviously they're not doing Halloween Horror Nights this year. Yeah. So this has been really cool to see like how the creative team is doing, still doing creative stuff, even though the houses are not like going forward, you know? Right. So it's just really neat that they're able to still have their output, um, even though they're not doing the full Horror Nights. So it's okay. exciting. So I'm like happy that we're supporting I just want to see more stuff like this. Yeah, me too. Vlogging? Stop number three, they're coming fast and furious. Well, this isn't a fast and furious store, but five and dime, the next stop. So last year for Halloween Horror Nights, they, I think it was last year, right? They had these characters, these different Universal Classic monsters 
in that first store that we went into, but they were all like a neon color, but they oh, were definitely they were neon. neon. Is that what it was? Okay. Yeah, they were black light reactive. That's what it was. I was trying to figure out because they have all these statues everywhere. I thought it was going to be hard to find the scarecrow. Right over here. There he is. He's like on the top of a weather vane. He's got like a flat top, like Frankenstein's monster. He's, He's holding a... Dracula's head Ooh. on a pumpkin. I this feel like neat. for the scary factor, this one is not super scary. Right? It's scarier than the Betty Boop one. Right. But Wait think... till you see some of the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. I think Men in Black so far, the ones that I've seen has been my favorite. Is that one like an alien? Uh, You'll see. Okay. I like that they did the day glow paint too. Is that the word? Day glow. Oh, okay. Yes. We are all sad that there will be no Gremlins 3. How do you make them go? Oh. I feel like Jackson would like this. Right? Would he not? Maybe. Let's see. Jackson, Jackson what do you what think? Do you think? <laughs> what do you think, buddy? There's what was a that little, little tiny smile? smile? A little smile. A little smile. I don't know. Also, check out this gremlin's hoodie. No water, no sunlight, no food. After midnight. Oh, after midnight. I was going to say, I feel like, what do you do? Keep him in the closet? Yeah. Oh. Right? <laughs> a Universal Classic Monsters Loungefly backpack with cute classic monsters. $82. All right, now we have a little bit of a walk over to SpongeBob's store pants. This one is uh, probably one of the scarecrows that shouldn't be in a kid's store. Oh, really? Yeah. Hi, Marge. You're looking great. Oh, here comes Marilyn. She was waving at Marge. <laughs> you hear that, buddy? Marilyn was saying hi to you. Look, there's Betty Boop. I think we're gonna take a quick stop into the skeleton bar and have a look at the food options. See what there is. Well, wait, what happened What happened to the food? So it, it, I kind of feel like maybe people weren't ordering food as much as they were ordering the drinks. Um, or maybe they just opened it on the weekends. But no, the last time we came here it was open and that was like a Tuesday. Yeah, but maybe they changed it. Oh, dang. Buddy, what's that? Look, there's Dora. What do you think? There's Diego too. They're waving at you. He looks very interested in it. What do you think, bud? Buddy, there's a monkey wearing boots. You'll never guess what his name is. So what did you find out? So I asked the bartender in the skeleton bar about the food and he said that they just changed it and the food is only available on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday now. So ding, dang. Dang. So here's something that I've been like actively trying to do. If, um, if something, we've just been trying to do everything. So like if there's a character that nobody's paying attention to, we try to take a picture with them. If there's a place that people aren't going into, we try to go in because we don't want the people that are working those locations to be um, out of a job. So we're just trying really hard to do everything. Right, so we are headed towards Kid Zone. This is Animal Actors right here and that way is towards Springfield. But where we're going next is SpongeBob Store Pants. So this is one that I've seen before, but you haven't seen it yet. I'm excited to see if it's like ocean themed. Do you think it's like underwater themed? Well, you edited it, so you've seen it. I, I can't remember. I feel like doing a video every day, it's hard to remember what we did yesterday. Yeah. You what know? did we do yesterday? I honestly I don't know. We're at Epcot. Okay. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. He's half decomposed. How gross. He's like a pirate. He's a pirate, but like pirate. still decomposing. His feet are still there. <laughs> I like how he has like barnacles on him. I like how he has like some some uh, hidden treasure in his mouth. Oh yeah. Got some gold teeth. I like how his pants still stay up. Oh yeah, it's a good belt. <laughs> yeah. Also, look at this thing. What it's is like it? It's like a, a, a ball and chain. Oh, that's how he died. Yeah. Oh, it's like a whole story. It is. Wow. Theming. And then look, there's some, some rum. Here's what I don't And get. some gold bars. So somebody obviously like made him sleep with the fishes, right? They, right? they sent him down to Davy Jones's locker. Okay. But why didn't they take his gold? 
Maybe they didn't know the gold was down here, and, and he it just, just so he happened. Just so happened to land right next to it. Maybe he had it and he dropped it, and he's like. I'm taking this to Davy Jones's locker with me. And so this is a, this is a very sad story. It is, it's a terrible story and a kid's story nonetheless. Right? Yeah, SpongeBob. <laughs> I, like the, I like the juxtaposition of this guy next to this hat. We're taking Jackson to SpongeBob's house. SpongeBob's having a disco. Whoa. Jackson, here's Gary. Say hello to Gary. A dance party with Gary? Is it raining? Is it snowing? Oh, no. Is a hurricane a blowing? <laughs> Mission accomplished. Four out of 13 done. We're doing really good. Oh, yeah. Also, there's some singing happening over here. So I think it's BJ and Baby Bob. Oh, yeah. I think I saw them on scooters. Yeah, there they are. Oh, and Patrick's coming. If you're happy and you know, stamp your feet. Look at Patrick and Squidward are coming. No way, that's what Squidward says. If you're happy and you know, it's so hooray! If you're happy and you know, it's so hooray! 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 If you're happy and you know, it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know, it's so hooray! So, A Day in the Park with Barney is closed for the time being, but it looks like there's still got some characters from the show out here. How are you doing today? Doing great. How are you? Oh, all right, you guys are the top three by the little kids, ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so good to see you guys. Thank BJ you. says that he knows us. I don't. I think BJ knows you. Tim. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Bea. Hi, Tim. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Doing good. great. Thank you. Good. 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 Yeah. How old is this one? He's 10, ten months old. Well, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. These tables outside of Moe's, they're actually sectioned off for use for a Krusty Burger or Cleese's Chicken Jack or Moe's to eat outside. A lot of restaurants around Universal have been doing that putting tables outside. I'm glad that they're doing that. I think that makes it like more, like I feel more comfortable eating at these places now. Yeah. And I think it, a lot of other people do too. Agreed. I just remembered that Kang and Krotos, the twirl and hurl is not work. it's not running right now. They closed a lot of rides um, just to, I think. Because, it's like seasonally. Yeah, and I think that's just because a lot of the employees were furloughed. And so they, they had to close some of the less popular rides, but Jackson would have loved that. Right? That's one of the rides that he could have ridden. I know. Dang. Ding, ding. That's the only ride that he could have ridden here. Is it the only one? He, we, he might be able to go on the stationary seats in um, in Minions. I also feel like he would be able to ride on the Hogwarts Express. Yeah. But we're not doing indoor rides, so that would have been the only one. Uh, that one, I feel like we might be able to do because they give you your own cabin. Oh. Thank you. Like, each party gets their own cabin. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I would do that. All right, we're headed into the MIB gear shop. This one, of the ones that I saw, this one was my favorite. Like the most scary or well, just... Well, I don't know. It had the, the coolest look to it. Okay, let's see. I don't know if it's scary. Hmm. And it, I promise you it's not Superman or Batman. Oh, darn it. It's over there. I think my favorite thing about this Scarecrow stock is that... I think so. Look at his oh. fingers. Oh yeah, he is an alien. But my wow. favorite thing about all of look, he's like he has like brains in his stomach or something. You didn't know that that's where aliens' brains are? No. Oh. Where is he from? What does his little patch say? It says satellite project. Oh. So maybe he was like not an alien. No, I feel like this is Americans. Like he's from Earth. Yeah. Like he he was here. And then the, the Earthlings sent him up into space. Okay. And then something happened to him, obviously. Right. Right? Like, maybe he's one of the aliens from Area 51. Maybe, but uh, you know what it was? Do you see all these, like, flowers with eyeballs? Yeah. And then if you look on the back, he's got, he's got like, bones sticking out of his back, too. Maybe he, maybe these things, like, overran his body. My favorite thing about all of these scarecrows is they're like, eh, if you can't wait till the end, you can buy candy right now. Just saying. What in the world 
It's a Thursday and the jacket potato stand is open. Should we get one? Maybe. What do we do? Let me look at the menu. Okay. The whole reason that I'm so unsure is because we're in the middle of this scarecrow stock and we're running behind. We got to get it done before the park closes. All right, executive decision. I'm going to do it a different day. We'll come back another Thursday. I feel like you did this last time it was open too. Right? Look, there's so, a night bus driver. Oh yeah. So I think what we're going to do, because this is sort of like a Halloween themed video. Yeah. We're going to do a Halloween themed little snack. Okay. And then next time we come, maybe we can do more of a Harry Potter themed video. Okay. I more like that idea. World theme. Okay. Yeah. You know what we need to do that we haven't, we did a long time ago? What? We need to go over the special interactive wand spots. Oh, I, I saw somebody. So as we were walking in, somebody had their interactive wand. And hello. Oh, well, hello. And uh, and oh, I was so jealous. I was like, ding, ding, I need to bring my wand. I know. Because I think well, Jackson might like to see that. We have two of them now. We do. So we could both interact. Right? We never showed the second one. It was like a special limited edition one. I remember now it was from Celebration of Harry Potter. It was like a special wand for that weekend. And we got one took forever to get. Oh yeah, it took like months and months and months to finally show up. And then we never used it. What's the wait time? 65 minutes for the Hogwarts Express. That's a long wait. So we probably won't bring Jackson on that one today. No, but we are coming up on our next stop in our Scarecrow stalk. And that is at the exit of Fast and Furious, which is currently closed. The ride is currently closed, but the Fast and Furious gear shop is open. Heading into the custom gear shop. Oh, so wait, is this one, does it look like uh, Dom? Like Vin Diesel? Yeah, what does it look like? Was Dom Vin Diesel? Yeah, Tr okay. Dom Dominic Toretto. Gotcha, no it doesn't. No. But this is where the wax figure of Vin Diesel was when this shop first opened. Did you see this? This is this is really making me laugh, is that next to every one, there's candy. Oh, and like you that? get candy at the end of it. They're like, They're buy like, this, you want it now, buy this. <laughs> you know, you don't have to work so hard, you can just buy some. That's really funny. See the HHN forever? Oh yeah. I run on steam, oil, and your soul. Ooh. Wow. I feel like those are like LED lights that are in his eyeballs too. He could have had his eyes lighting up. Oh yeah. I like his little, his little hay mo mohawk. I almost said mustache. Oh yeah, hay mohawk. Hey mohawk. And then all the oil and stuff leaking out of him. Oh yeah. And this is just a saxophone top coming out of the top of this pumpkin. You know, it's a uh, gears. There's a clutch down there. All right, we got number six, and actually she accidentally did number 11 too. Oh, we're so, headed there, we're headed there. We're gonna go there still. Yeah. Now we're going across the way to the San Francisco Candy Factory, which is where I said to get the uh, the Rice Krispie treats. Oh, they're a yeah. better deal, and they're huge. All right, oh, we're halfway, like after we complete this, we'll be more than halfway done. Whoa, look at the eyeballs. How do you still have eyeballs? I still wanna know what's going on with his hands. See how they're super long? His fingers are super long. Now, how does he still have eyeballs? I don't know, but his eyes are <laughs> so Oh, he's got cowboy boots on, too. Oh, see, so he's a cowboy pirate mummy skeleton. With really long fingers. Now, look at the size of these Rice Krispie treats. Also, those cookies look awesome. I was just gonna say, you're, you're a bit of a cookie connoisseur, and look at that. That looks so good. Oh, my goodness gracious. Also, I don't know what this is. It just says chocolate crunch cookie. What do you think is in there? I see M&Ms. And then maybe something else? I don't really like candied apples, but these look pretty okay. They have so many. How many do you think they really sell in a day? There are so many candied apples. At least three of them. Oh no. Next stop, Louie's. Get some pizza fries. Already mobile ordered them, so we're heading in. So because we're having kind of like a Halloween-y video with the Scarecrow stock, we had to get a Halloween treat some pizza fries. These look so good. My goodness, look at how crispy these french fries look. So it's french fries, pizza sauce, cheese, pepperonis, and sausage with some pizza seasoning on it. Man, this looks, uh, I can't wait to dig into this. So this is your first bite of pizza fries in two years. Yeah, I have, yeah, that's right. Cause I, last year I was pregnant, so I didn't get to do any Halloween Horror Nights. I did go to the Scare Actor Dining, but that was it. Oh, all the sauces on the bottom. Yeah. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything here. Okay. A little French fry, a little pepperoni, a little cheese, a little, a little teeny bit of sauce, and a little sausage. Pretty good, right? I like how the song started playing. <laughs> um, no, it is good. If I could make one change, and I've only had one bite, mind you, 
But if I can make one change, I would add more sauce. Yeah. A little more sauce. Is the sauce better than you remember? That's the main thing. It just tastes like very standard marinara sauce. Okay. Which isn't bad. Before, if you got it over at Kids Own Pizza, it was like a watery spaghetti sauce. It's definitely not watery. It's kind of chunky. Yeah. Not like in a bad way. It's just, it's got some like, Heft you know, to it. Yeah. So they stopped the music for a second. I think the beat builders are going to play, which is the like construction themed, like a... Uh, like a drum core. Yeah. So they play over here in this little scaffolding area. But um, I just wanted to say, now that it's a little bit quiet, we, I like the pizza fries a lot. I do think they need more sauce. Like there's a there's one little section that has a lot of sauce, but I feel like they need to make the whole thing real saucy. Oh yeah, real saucy. That's my that's my one takeaway. And I will say that if it didn't have this like pizza flavoring, you can kind of see the little seasoning on top. If it didn't have that, it wouldn't be super flavorful. Right. So I'm glad that they added that seasoning. And they didn't over at Kids Own Pizza Company last year. No. No, it's just here at Louis that they had that. I think another thing too, and Jackson has actually been giving him some of it. He likes it. Um, another thing too though is I want to try the pizza fries. They're the margarita pizza fries. Oh yeah. Over in Islands at Cafe Four, I think, which yeah. is in like the Marvel area. That's where, that's where I think I want to try those because those look like they had, it was like a fresher flavor. Yeah. So it had like fresh basil, the mozzarella, like not the shredded mozzarella. And then I think it had like a fresher tasting sauce possibly. I think it has a pesto. Is it pesto? I think so. I really want to try those. We'll so, try to find a, a video where I tried them and we'll put it in the description down below. And I think it was during the annual pass holder like... Appreciation uh, days? Yeah, because it was on the annual pass holder menu. So I wonder if they have it now. Yeah, they do. They do? Okay. Yeah. That's one I want to try. There they are, the Beat Builders. They came out in their Polaris Ranger. A Polaris Ranger. And they're getting up on their scaffolding and they're going to start their show. What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. Hey, hey, Fry. Hey, Mike. I can't get this stuff fire to work. Really? Hmm. Yeah, something's going on. Don't worry, it's okay. I got mine over here. Oh. You know what? This one says you got to put it on a stud. No, you gotta you find the stud. That's the whole point of a stud. <laughs> find. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> back to the scarecrow stalk. And our next stop Rosie's Irish Imports. There he is. Did you see he's got a little tooth fairy? Oh, yeah. Tooth fairies? I like how his fingernails are gold. Oh, he's got gold fingernails. Wow. This one's pretty like creepy looking. Yeah, it is. How is this a scarecrow though? I think it's right there. Oh, that's the scarecrow. Yeah, but he's just hanging out with it. Oh, okay, gotcha. I do like this though. I like that the gold is coming out of his pumpkin. Oh, yeah. Seeing if there was any sort of like horror night gold in there. Just like, she's All right, we're going fast and furious now. We only got a few left. Next stop, Sahara Traders. Oh, did you see Rip Ride Rocket go up? And this is the Mummy gift shop. The Mummy is one of the rides that I actually really miss riding. Oh yeah. I know. Yeah. There it is. This one I liked. I like the ghostly swoosh. I like the gold bars. I like the pumpkin. And I like that he has like 15 jaws and two heads. That's so strange. So he's like a two-headed person with an extra jaw? Yeah. Well, he's also made of gold. Oh yeah. That's a gold, a gold skeleton. So how is this a scarecrow? Then? I don't know. I don't understand. It's like a very liberal definition. Oh, okay. It says locate 13 scarecrows and skeleton. Oh. So it could be either or. Okay. Gotcha. Now we know. We should have read it. I'm telling you this last run is going to be, they're real close together. So it should be pretty easy to finish this out. Just enough time. Because the park's gonna close really soon. Right? So I feel like we're literally like. It's true. Like rushing. It's 4 15 now, and the park closes at 5. Is it already 4 15? Yeah. Holy cow. So we're like. All right, we gotta we're do rushing. It. Yeah. So next stop, the film vault. I think I said this last time Optimus Prime is pointing the way. It says, go into the film vault. Or should I say, go into the film vault. Ooh, he's kind of like a scary mummy looking skeleton. He's got a pumpkin head. Oh, he's oh. a mummy. But he's also like, grab. he's got giant hands. So here's the thing. This isn't a very good mummy because the whole thing about mummies is that they're not supposed to decompose. Oh yeah. And he's decomposing. Also, he's wearing shorts. 
What mummy wears shorts? Um, one that wants to be decent inside of the film bowl. It's true. You can't just be in here naked. What do you think this says in hieroglyphics? Uh, it says, look out, the curse, it's real. <laughs> We realized that that was the one that was accidentally stamped at the film vault. Yeah. So now we're headed over to the supply vault, which is the Transformers gift shop. And there is a map on this little pamphlet that we got. So if we were confused, like we were confused about the Shrek one, we will be able to find it here on the map. I feel like we've just never been in the Shrek gift shop. I know. I think I've only ridden Shrek like once. Oh yeah. Here we go, supply vault. Now the last time that we I was in here, I had to answer a trivia question about Transformers. Oh, did you? Yeah, I oh, hope no. you're ready. I don't know if I am. Can you see those? Oh yeah, that's awesome. It's like a costume for Jackson. He could be Optimus Prime. For 30 bucks. Look at this guy. He's got all kinds of gears and oil dripping out of him. He's got a pumpkin in his stomach. Very, very cool looking. I think that might be a mask from a previous Halloween Horror Nights. Maybe a scare zone? Leave me a comment down below if you think that this is a mask from a scare zone at Halloween Horror Nights. Oh look, a muffler. Megatron Beast Wars. That's cool looking. There's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. There's Optimus Prime. So we have to go up this little ramp right here behind this pink wall. But I think we're going inside that store right there for the uh, the Shrek gift shop. And then I think we only have one after this. I think there's only two left. We're doing really good. And then we get our candy yeah. treat. Then we have to go to Super Silly Stuff. Yeah, and that's right across the way. Ooh, man, we're, we're doing it. We're like stalking these scarecrows. <laughs> is it? Oh no, the next one over. It's confusing. This is the exit to the ride. Oh yeah, we can go meet Donkey. Hi, Donkey. Hey, what's up, man? Nothing much. We're coming to see you after the shop. I know. We're gonna come. Hey! We're gonna come. No. Okay. Promise. We're gonna come see you after the shop. Go buy stuff. Okay. There's nobody in the Shrek gift shop. There's all kinds of stuff in here. There's trolls. There's Shrek stuff. There's candy. How to train your dragon. Ooh, look at him. What happened to his legs? Are they all decayed? Maybe. There's a crocodile down here. Oh, you think that's what got him? Maybe. Oh, wow. Either that or crow. Like, the crows are, you know, <laughs> they hold a vengeance. It says, keep out. This is cool. He's got mushrooms growing out of him. Wow. I like that it's in a swamp because Shrek, right? A little Easter egg here on this there one. You go. You have to get your stand, right? There's Shrek and Fiona's initials carved in the stump. Because this is their swamp. I feel like that's kind of a little bit morbid though, right? Why? To put your initials on like the dead guy? It's a scarecrow. Oh, but it's a real dead guy. Is it? Isn't it? Well, I'll tell you what though. <laughs> this scarecrow uh -huh. has layers. It's true. He's, he's the onion of scarecrows. He's the onion of scarecrows. <laughs> or a parfait. Oh, Everybody yeah. Everybody loves a parfait. An onion parfait. Mmm. That's a mess, baby. You put the fuzzy microphone, dude. Oh, yeah, it's me again. <laughs> See, how is this baby? This is Jackson. Who? Jackson. 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 Yeah. We're going with Jackson. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Hey, hey, Jackson. He's never met a donkey before. Man, I've never met a Jackson before, so huh? that's cool. That is cool. You're just chilling, staring at me. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> He's not sure. Cool and questions. I get it, man. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. It is nice to meet me. Yeah. Say bye, donkey. Bye, donkey. Nice baby. I'm like that baby. Thank All right, you. Jackson. See you later, baby. All right, one last stop. Super silly stuff. This one's pretty easy to find, right in the front. Oh, it's kind of like a mix between like Beetlejuice here and Jack here. I love all the candy. Oh yeah. Oh, did you see this? Look at Does this. Does it smell like candy in here? Oh yeah. That's pretty creepy. And a cotton candy pumpkin. Oh, I love that. That's actually really cute. 
Yeah, this is fun. So I feel like this makes sense in the kitty store. That other one was kind of scary, the SpongeBob one. Right? A hat here and like a carnival fence. There it is. We have completed the scarecrow stock. All we have left to do is get our candy. Now you go to one of these two and once you get a stamp, it's done. You can't go to the second one. So we're going to Studio Suites. Here's our redemption spot, Studio Suites, right here. So we got peach rings, candy corn, or sour worms. Which one are you getting? I like the sour ones, but what do you want? No, no, I'm not gonna eat any. I don't like any You don't any want it? Okay, yeah. I'll get the sour ones. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then we're gonna get a cookie too. And for dessert. Oh, let's see, let's see. They have a protective layering. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a giant peanut butter cup cookie. That sounds so delicious. It looks very good. I wonder, so is the cookie peanut butter and then there's like chocolate on top? Is that what I it is? I think so. Okay, let's try it. Is that buddy so tired? Oh, look at that big yawn. That buddy is ready. I, we're gonna go after this because the little buddy is ready for his nap. Is it as good as it sounds? No. You know what would make it better? More chocolate? Yeah. Chocolate so, chips? Yes. That's a chocolate job. If they put chocolate chips in the cookie and then put more chocolate on top. It is very peanut buttery though. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. It is, it's really delicious, but it would be even more delicious with more chocolate. So there's a fine line with peanut butter cookies, whether they're dry or whether they're just moist enough. This is very nice and moist. It's a good cookie. It's, don't get me wrong. I do like it. I just wish it had a little bit more chocolate. Would you order it again? Yeah. It has little peanut butter chips in it, though. Replace those peanut butter chips with chocolate chips? No, just add chocolate. Keep oh. the peanut butter chips. Just make a cookie that's only peanut butter chips and chocolate chips. And Somehow no, help no the other with chocolate. No batter at all? Yeah. Just only the chips? Just, just eat them out of the bag. Jackson loves that idea. Wait a minute, I love that idea. See, I love that idea. Are you sharing with the mama? Oh my gosh, thank you for sharing with me. You're so sweet. Wow, look at oh. these little feet. I'm gonna share back with you, how about that? Oh, did you love that? That mama was so funny. Are you gonna share back with me? Oh my goodness, thank you for being such a good sharer. Like, yep. Where did it go? Do you want it back? Oh, there you go, there, buddy. Yeah. So there you have it. That was us at Universal Orlando doing the Scarecrow stalk. It was fun. I had a lot of fun. What was your favorite Scarecrow? I think the one in Men in Black. Still that one? Yeah. I think that was actually my favorite too. It's good. I like that they really like integrated the Men in Black storyline. Like it was an alien. It was good. What was, was your least favorite? I was just going to ask you that. I think my least favorite was probably the one in the film vault. Oh, mine was San Francisco Candy Company. Oh, the, the pirate guy with pirate the, with the, the long weird fingers. fingers? Yeah. I kind of like, I don't know, the fingers were cool. Okay. I think they all did great. What do, what do you think was the weirdest one? Probably Spongebob. Oh, do you think? Yeah. I oh, no. The Betty Boop The Hello one. Kitty, yeah. The Betty, so I thought, that one, now that I think about it, it reminds me of, you know, the girl gremlin? Yeah. That's what it reminded me of. The girl gremlin, but like a bigger version. <laughs> and a snake. Yeah, and a snake. <laughs> weird. I don't know, it was very fun. If you're looking for something to do at the parks and maybe not riding rides, or maybe in between rides, um, I would highly recommend checking it out. Yeah. It was a fun way to spend the day. You got to pop in, get the air conditioning. You got to uh, do a, like a fun scavenger hunt. You got the free candy. Yeah. I'll be enjoying my, my sour worms. And we ate pizza fries. Yeah, it was good. It was a good day all around. Fantastic day. Yeah. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to help. So today's organization that we would like to shine a spotlight on is Guild. And we wanted to thank Tristan for bringing this organization to our attention. Guild is a nonprofit organization in St. Paul, Minnesota that provides housing and employment services to people with severe and persistent mental illnesses. Most people don't want to talk about mental illness and aren't sure what to do about the growing homeless population. These topics can be difficult, troubling, and even scary to talk about but Guild is on a mission to change that. So we really appreciate the work that Guild is doing. And if you all know any state specific or community specific organizations that we could share, please leave them in the comment section down below. It could help somebody out tremendously or even save a life. So be sure to check out the link in the description down below for Guild and learn more about what they're doing to help out their community. And thank you guys for watching this video.